Hello, last class we have seen about the relationship between food, nutrition and health and we will be continuing with the same class. Whereas last class we have seen what are the definitions and what are the functions of food. So, this class we will see about the different classes of nutrients that are present in food. All the foods have these nutrients. So, there are six different types of nutrients in our food. The protein which is present in meat, beans, fish and uh, pulses etcetera. Then carbohydrates which is present in all the cereals and millets, roots and tubers, then minerals, vitamins, fats and water. Water also is a main nutrient. So, let us see each of these nutrients in detail. So, starting with the proteins, proteins are the substances that are used for replacement and repair of the body cells for growth. So, these are made up of the amino acids that means the amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. So, they provide essential amino acids to the body. When we call them essential amino acids, they are not synthesized by the body. They have to be essentially be provided from the food. So, they provide structure to the body cells and are part of hormones and enzymes. Then they are found mainly in eggs, milk, cheese, meat and pulses. So, these essential amino acids they must be supplied from food. Then the next nutrient is the carbohydrate which is also a major nutrient in the food. So, the main function of carbohydrates is to provide energy. So, 1 gram of carbohydrate provides us 4 kilocalories of energy and this carbohydrate is made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So, they are we have simple carbohydrates which are made of sugar and starch and fiber and complex carbohydrates. So, carbohydrates are divided into simple and complex. So, sugars are found in fruit, honey, milk and the sugar as it what we eat. Then starches are found in cereal grains, pulses, roots and tubers. And fiber is found in the whole grain cereals, seeds, beans and peas. The fats also is the major nutrient which is the main source of energy. It only gives us energy to the body. So, these are also called as lipids and oils. Then they provide excess energy. That means, 1 gram of fat provides 9 kilocalories of energy, whereas 1 gram of carbohydrate it provides 4 kilocalories of energy. So, imagine it is more than 2 times of energy that is given by 1 gram. So, and the main function of fat is also to absorb fat soluble vitamins. Then this is a good storage form of energy. So, when we have fat in the body it gives us a uh, I mean the nutrition when we are under starvation. So, it is a form of stored energy. Then it is form of social, uh, if it, it is a form of uh, main source of essential fatty acids. These essential fatty acids are again very useful for the maintenance of the cell walls in the body. Therefore, when again when we say essential fatty acids, they are required for the uh, body very important uh, function and they are supposed to be supplied from the food. They are not present or synthesized in the body. And whenever we have excess amount of uh, carbohydrates in the food, these are converted into fat and stored in the body as adipose tissue. So, they are classified into saturated, unsaturated based on the structure. Saturated fats are generally associated with high cholesterol. So, if you take excess amount of saturated fats that means, the cholesterol level in the body also may increase. Minerals are the minor uh, nutrients, but most essential in the body. So, these are all organic nutrients and uh, many chemical reactions in the body are regulated by minerals. So, they act as coenzymes in many metabolic reactions. They are very main, uh, important for maintaining the acid base balance, water balance and mainly the homeostasis of all the body fluids. When all these are maintained properly, then the individual is healthy. 
though required in very small amounts, they are very important for maintaining the body functions. Next are the vitamins which again play a very important role in the body for the maintenance of the body and uh, giving protection to the body. So, they are needed for growth, regulating the body functions and preventing disease. So, generally all the vitamins are provided to the body if we have a complete balanced diet. So, we need not have to take some vitamin supplements when you take a balanced diet. Both excess and deficiency of these vitamin they cause health problems. So, now we have two groups of vitamins. One is the fat soluble vitamins which have the vitamin A, D, E and K and these fat soluble vitamins are stored in the body and whenever there is some deficiency these stored nutrients are utilized for the body functions. And this vitamin A is mainly required for the epithelial tissues uh, health and for eyesight. Whenever we talk of uh, night blindness or any eye problem, we talk about vitamin A. So, vitamin A is very essential for the function of the eye and vitamin D is associated with the bone growth. That means, vitamin D is very essential for the calcium absorption. If vitamin D is not supplied, then calcium absorption is hampered and the bones become weak. And vitamin E, it is an antioxidant, it is a very important uh, vitamin where it is required for reproduction and also the health of the cells. So, it prevents the oxidation of cells thereby, thereby it prevents the uh, excess growth of the cells which results in cancer. Then vitamin K is very important for blood clotting. So, if vitamin K is not there, it is very important for the conversion of prothrombin to thrombin where which is essential for the blood clotting and if it is not supplied it may then if there is any injury, the blood bleeding may not stop. So, that is very dangerous. So, especially the pregnant woman before her delivery is given an injection of vitamin K to prevent over bleeding. Now, water soluble vitamins are also very important this in the meaning itself says when they are water soluble, they are soluble in water and uh, these water soluble vitamins are not stored in the body. They are uh, whenever they are excess, they are excreted out through the body. They are not stored in the body. That means, we have to supply these vitamins water soluble vitamins every day in our food to keep the body healthy because there is no storage. And when you do not give water soluble vitamins for 2 or 3 days, your deficiency symptoms start. So, very essential to give this water soluble vitamins, you have the thiamine, riboflavin, niacin etcetera and uh, pantothenic acid, uh, all this the folic acid and vitamin B 12, these two are the water soluble important water soluble vitamins, which in deficiency may cause anemia or folic acid deficiency causes neural tube defects in the children. So, this folic acid and uh, vitamin B 12 are very important for the uh, formation of blood, for the maturation of RBC they are very important therefore, they cause anemia. Next important nutrient which is required by the body is water. So, we just think water it is okay. And many people avoid drinking water so that they can uh, be happy, isn't it? So, water is required for survival, and uh, our body almost 65 percent of the body is made up of water. And you have the important for maintaining the blood volume, it is a medium for solvent, it dissolves many substances in the water and carries it throughout the body and supplies to the cells. So, it regulates the body temperature transports many substances and it is also acts as a lubricant. Imagine if you do not have water content in the body, your hemoglobin level will go up, the blood pressure changes. So, you cannot move your joints very easily as we are moving without any uh, knowledge. So, it acts as a very good lubricant. So, all the cells in the body require water to carry out their functions. So, as I said almost 60 to 65 percent of the body is composed of water and uh, if water is lost, 
from the body in excess it leads to dehydration and when it is uh, when a person is dehydrated he becomes very sick so all the functions of the body are slowly stopped when there is lot of dehydration so water is such important component of body and water is generally it is lost from the body uh, in the form of perspiration in the form of uh, exhalation and uh, excretion and this is the loss of water from the body is only to remove all the waste products from the body so otherwise uh, how will the waste products go out of the body so water again helps in excreting the waste products from the body so such important is the water and any individual requires about 6 to 8 glasses of water per day to keep himself hydrated and healthy okay so these are the functions of various uh, nutrients that are present in the body and uh, uh, for a healthy body we require all the six important nutrients that is the carbohydrates proteins fats which are majorly required for um, body building and energy and the minerals vitamins and uh, which are required for protection of the body and uh, they give us resistance against uh, um, the different uh, illnesses and also they are required for uh, carrying out the metabolic actions uh, in the body and uh, keeping the body healthy and water is a very important nutrient which uh, is keeps our body healthy and we are uh, we look so fresh because of the water content in the body so with this uh, the relationship between food nutrition health is um, i think uh, very well understood by all of you and um, we will see about the we will continue with the next topics in the next class thank you and uh, goodbye